Yeah, hi, it's Willie D here again. Um, we are going to re restore an old painting I found in a Paris market. Now it has damage up in here. There we go, this side, sorry. And it's miscolored. It looks like they were smoking in the room. It is an oil paint, but whether it's on canvas or cardboard, it looks more like cardboard. And so we're going to take it apart very gently and see what we got. So here we go. Nice little painting. I'll turn it towards you there. Nice little painting. Has some damage up in here. And looks very, very like it, they smoked in the room maybe. So turn it over. Now a lot of times they put these brown papers on. You want to be careful that you don't just rip it off. You want to lay it around the edges nice and lightly. And then you'll see what's in behind, right? See, that's a bit strange. I don't think that's even stuck. Uh, very old, right? <coughs> so you want to be quite careful with this. You know? I'm not too sure whether I'll be putting new backing on it or what. But I got to see what's underneath. Oh, it's falling apart here. So, looks like a cardboard. Yep. Which isn't always a good sign, to be honest. So, but it might be just backing. Let's hope it is. There are pins in here. There we go. That's what we're looking for. There's a pin there. And we're going to have to get those out. One here, look. Way down in there. It's not going to come easy. Try to keep cam camera center. Right in here is the pin. See it? There she is. Ah. Oh. Put that aside. We know what's going on now. They have pins in this. This paper is actually done for. So we take that off nice and gently. Remember you're doing a restoration project. But you can't keep paper that's crumbling. We'll keep the pins. We might put them in. We might put new ones in. So that's two. There's something here. Look. Underneath this cardboard again. Now if we don't go too deep on the painting, we're okay. That's three pins. We're getting there. So I'll gently take the rest of the pins out and we'll see what we got. So I'm just checking the sides. There's no pins here. But there is a pin here and here and here again. Three pins and three pins and none on the sides. Which is a little strange. But you know, see it comes up through that cardboard there. Which almost I have to replace anyways. Here's another one. Now the cardboard usually is not the painting. The cardboard usually just a uh, padding or a backing. Mm, that one's stubborn. Yep, we got the other pliers. In there. See, this cardboard has been there so long that it's kind of no void. Let's see now if this comes out. Yeah, it's not moving too good yet. So I have no idea what's holding it. Make sure there's nothing there. Have a look on the other side and see if it's sticking. Ah, uh, sticking a little. There, she's going slowly. It's the mat sticking. So there's the painting. It's been mounted on the cardboard. So it's basically cardboard oil painting 
maybe cardboard. There's some other kind of form. Let's see. Let's have a look here. It's wood, very nice. It's wood, which is better. Now what I most likely do is work out whether I cut this off and put it on a new piece or leave it on the old piece. So I'll have to go have to go think about that. Now my mat has damage here and is sticking quite a bit for some reason. We'll go and see. Ah, there's a pin on the side here. Very weird. Never spotted that. Should have been more careful. And there we go. Now that needs recleaning or redoing. So that it looks old at least. Very brittle look. Pieces coming off. You'll say I shouldn't do that, but you gotta do that anyways, because that's gonna be a problem if it's peeling. So there's our frame, which is okay. It needs a little repair here and here and here, but otherwise it's pretty good. I kind of like it. I missed a couple of nails, which I'm really bothered at, but I haven't done any damage to the painting. That's the most important part. Now, we'll clean this up and then we'll work out what we're gonna do with the painting and move on. Now the paintings here, and what you want to do is get a cotton bud. So we're back in the restoration shop and it's the next morning and what we're going to do with the oil painting is we're going to do a little test here and see how it turns out. You know, just use a little bit of saliva and put it on here and rub around and see how dirty this painting is. And we'll look at the aesthetics of the frame and what we should do as well. So here we go. Bit of saliva and let's give it a little rub here and see what happens. I think the paint's coming off more than anything. So I want to watch that I don't take too much paint off. You have to ask yourself, is it dirt or is it paint? Hmm? Yeah, I think... We're getting a little bit of paint off there, but you can see that it's cleaning up in here. I'm not too sure whether they were supposed to be seagulls in there. There you go. We'll clean this up a bit and we'll see what we get. So as you can see here, there's a little bit of an edging and you can see the real color here and you can see the yellow here so someone was most likely smoking in this room look at that just wads of black coming off and you can see the color revealing itself slowly now we have to be careful, but you can tell the original color a little bit on the edging what it could have been, what should have been, or was. You can see up here as it cleans away, it's more of a blue than it is a brown. And down in here there's some smoke, or a cloud, I'm not too sure yet which, but it's coming out. If it's not too expensive a painting, you can um, put a little bit of white spirit sinners and wipe it because it's an oil. Don't do that on a watercolor though. So I'll just keep doing this. And we'll see, we've got some multiple colors up in here. 
and I've gone through quite a few cotton buds already as you can see we'll keep at it so whoever owned this painting as you can see here watch that's a clean bud look at the smoke coming off and the dirt look at all this just wads of brown just absolute wads you can see here the greens cleaning up slowly and there's still brown in here so just a little patience you know, put your saliva on your water on the painting and see there look at that brightening up seen anything like it so dirty and that's why the painting had no kind of punch to it but it's slowly coming back very nicely and I'll just keep working away on this for another bit we'll see what we got there's where I'm at right now you can just see it look just keeps coming It's not the oil paint. Oil paint does not wash off, right? You don't want to do this water paints, but oil paints do not wash off. Not with water or saliva. Even with white spirits, if you put a dab of white spirits on this, there like that, that won't wash it off either. That'll clean stuff off. It's not as good as the saliva for some reason. You can see it's slower. We'll just wipe this a sec and we'll do, start again. There we go, back to this. This is the best way to do it because you're getting a feel for it even though my cotton buds are kind of falling apart. And we'll keep that up until we get it clean. Yeah, I'm removing the backing from the painting because it's just not working carefully as I can. There's a very thin ply here so I have to be really careful not to split the wood but it's coming slowly I keep peeling this off and clean this back of this piece and I'll put a new backing on it yeah, I'm removing. Yeah. So I'm removing the backing here slowly, the cardboard backing. As you can see, it's coming away. And I'll end up with just the plywood to the painting. It's going to take me a while to get this all off and clean. But at least then, when I apply my new backing, it's going to be a solid base. It nearly should be put on another piece of wood. We'll see when we get to that, what we should do with it. Yeah, I've cleaned the back of the oak painting, and as you can see, it's a very light. So I'm really uh, just gave it a very light sand to give it some tooth. As you can see, it's got some tooth now. It has a little bit of stickiness, but I'm afraid to go too far, too deep. Because there isn't much left. Basically it's getting to the point where there isn't much between the painting and me. So <laughs> I'm going to most likely leave it like this and put it onto a, another piece of wood background so that it's solid. Yeah, I'm just checking out, I have the fan going again, whether this is worth saving or not. See, as you can see, it's peeling off here quite easily, the gold. And that was the mat that it went through, but I actually like the old feel. 
and I'm thinking of keeping it in with the painting. So I'm going to take, see if I can basically just re-gold this mat. And I have to fix a chip here, so that's where I'm at at the moment. I'm just going to take this first layer off and see what I get. Yeah, I'm about to mount the painting onto this board and the back is not great but I, what I'm going to do is clean that up with a bit of paper afterwards. But what we're going to do is mount this to this canvas board. And then the painting will be more secure. What I'll do is I'm doing both sides make sure it takes and then I will put it underneath my toolbox to make sure it stays straight with this plywood underneath. So here we go. So we've done that now. I have to do the back of the painting. Got to make sure you get right up to the edges on this one. Right? Right up to the corners and everything. And then we'll just mount her on. And that's going to make it really different. Big difference. My painting's gone a little dull. It still needs touch-ups. Okay. That should take. No corner unturned here. drying too quick for me. And there we go, and we're going to mount it on there. Now the painting's gone dull, which I don't like, so we're going to have to do something about that. And there's lines going across it for some reason, so we'll touch it up later. And then I'll reveal my painting. Now that that does is keep it nice and flat, right? So I just put some weight on that, turn this upside down on this board, make sure it's clean, and put some weight on it and let it dry like this. I should have paper on this as well. You know, I don't like the back looking like that. So I've taken an old Weedabix box and I'm gonna turn it over and glue that on the back of the painting because it looks older and it'll give it a better feeling to be when you look at the back of the frame you're going to see this here so it's going to look much better okay like this so and all i gotta do is get it out again and cut these edges off okay You can uh, use a blade as well if you wanted to. And that's pretty good. I have no problem with that. Look at that. You can also go and blade it. Shouldn't be doing it on this board. May need that for something. Yeah. Let's just do it. That's nice. Lovely straight edge, even better. I'll use the other side of that board anyways. So there we go, see. And now when it's mounted in the frame, 
I can actually eat that. That's really quite pretty. It's the other way around, I think. Sometimes one side's tighter than the other. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, no good in complaining about that, is there, huh? Doesn't that look nice? Yeah, clean this up a little bit, not much. 